Once you've tacked the projectors into alignment on your car using the JB Quick, you then need to disassemble everything so that you can put a final layer of epoxy on. Uh, in this, we recommend JB Quick, but really any two-part epoxy will do the trick. Um, essentially, you're going to want to cover all the surface area around the perimeter of the projector where it meets with the reflector to permanently set it into place. Before you put any epoxy on, if your projector has any openings or vents like this one or any open areas around the actual solenoid, um, you're going to want to make sure that you cover those up so that the epoxy does not seep inside of the projector since that could have a negative impact on the functionality of the solenoid. Uh, and you don't want that to get on the inside of your reflector bolt here. Uh, because the epoxy doesn't dry right away, it is prone to drip. So what we're going to do is cut up a little bit of aluminum tape and just cover up these little openings here. Just to make See that we have actually covered up all of the little vents on the top of the projector and the surrounding area to the solenoid and you know this way when we actually go to layer the surrounding area with the epoxy we can you know feel assured that nothing is going to get into that solenoid or inside of the reflector bulb on the projector so from here uh, we can go ahead and mix up our jb weld and put it all the way around the edges Once you've got the full backside of the projector covered, a um, good junction between the reflector and the projector itself, you can just let it sit. The JB Weld, especially the quick, should dry fairly quick. And then after that, uh, you can proceed to mount your shrouds and then reassemble everything from there.